What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. It's Chicken Chalet time. Folks, if you like to have a good time and sometimes learn a thing or two about maybe goats, building stuff, or how to just do you, then make sure you subscribe, because you're gonna miss out. Yesterday, it pretty much rained the entire day. Well, not pretty much, it definitely did. So we didn't get outside to get any progress on the coop, but that's all right. We're gonna get out there today. Last time we were out there, we did a lot of the uh, disassembling of the coop from the prior build. We took the walls off, we did a little bit of the framing. So today what I wanna do is finish up some of the framing for the uh, new features that we're gonna have into this coupe and hopefully I can start getting to a point where we're wrapping it up. It shouldn't take too long, a lot of the stuff is already done because again, this is a remodel, not a new build, but it is gonna take a little bit of time because, well, I am not the absolute best at measuring or following my own plans. I like to mix it up, do something different. Come on, you just you just took my focus. I think you, you saying, I think you saying that you're not so good at measuring or following your own plans is a vast understatement. Wow. Do I ever come in the kitchen and be like, I think your ability to cook is a vast understatement? Every damn day. Okay, fair enough. Whatever, we gotta get to work. Come on. Are you even helping me today? Yes, let's go. Woo, you're helping me? Snap, let's get to it. Courtney just cut up a bunch of pieces in the shop. I gave her a cut list and she just went to town cutting those all up, brought them down here. So I'm gonna take these pieces, get them all assembled inside the coop. Shouldn't take too long. You might be wondering why I'm using this saw instead of a powered saw. One, uh, I don't really care for noise much. Two, I like hand tools. I like the feel of using my hands. I like the ability to adjust my accuracy. If I get in there with a power saw and I'm not quite accurate, then I gotta fix it so much harder. This is a whole lot easier, quiet, no, no, it's more meaningful. It's my favorite saw. Most of these are meant for like fine woodworking, but for a flush cut or for something in here, I love it. It's fast, it's super sharp. I've used this on every single build that I have outside, construction-wise, even in the house. Never once had an issue with it. Still not dull. If it does get dull, the nice thing is, is I can just take the blade out, replace the blade, but I have never had to. I think I actually cut these here too long. I gotta take off a little bit more for the width of this, or the thickness of this. All 
All right, so I think if I go in like that. Yup. Boom. Well, I, get, I gotta put this one in, yeah. Oh. So, come around this side. Well, you're the carpenter, my yeah. friend. Oh, look at that. That fits so well. Nice. Nice and snug. Get this piece here. We'll have to put some pocket holes here and here, but all right. Okay, well we won't we won't count this one. Oh, you know what? We need to count for the thickness of that piece and this piece when we put it in. We. We. Oh, wait, no, we did. Yeah, we did. No, we what did. What did I do wrong? No, we didn't. This is exactly what I was talking about when I say I can't measure. Where's my pencil? <laughs> see my pencil? I don't see your pencil. I lost my stinging pencil again. I only think we had this one in and not that one. Yeah. When we measured. Oh, so, yeah, but like, I'm only like a half, like a quarter of an inch off. Well, I don't know how to explain that. I mean, we measured it together and then I cut at that measurement. So, I mean, we both can't measure. All right, let's find a pencil. Or you can't cut. Oh, get out of my face. <laughs> This piece back here, did you see it? I had it laying flat and I decided to um, change it up. So I flipped it the other way. It's a load bearing wall. All the stuff drains back towards that side. So if we've got a load of snow, you know, a lot of it's gonna just kind of make its way back there. And I started to think that, uh, you know, the way I had it just was gonna put too much pressure and then I would start to get some bowing. So I flipped that piece up on its side, which should give it a whole lot more rigidity, especially with it having like almost a five foot span. It's like 60 some inches and uh, I don't want it to start to sag at all. I think the way I have it now should be fairly good. If I notice that there's a slight sagging ever, I think what I'll end up doing is that was a nut that hit the ceiling. One of those hit me in the head the other day. Woo, that's crazy. interior framing is up folks let's take a look at what I've done so far right here is like the main runway okay the birds are gonna go out over there and over here will be their laying boxes and a window in here is all of our storage from here 
from here to here, the height of this, that's gonna be our deep layer box. I didn't frame it here because there's gonna be a board that just goes straight across. Over here is the back wall. In this area, there'll be storage. In this area down here will be storage. This storage is accessible from the inside. This storage is accessible from the outside. Right here is our box to clean out. It's our clean out box. Courtney should be able to just shift everything out of there. Up here, I put another uh, beam going across the roof. So that way I could secure this guy and then the next piece going over here for the uh, interior door. There'll be an interior door right here. So that way the birds can't get out and go over there. Over this way will just be the interior storage. I need to frame out a window over here yet and the doorway. So that's what we're gonna work on now. Have you noticed that Courtney is nowhere to be found? Go figure. We've talked about Restore on this channel quite a number of times, uh, and I got these windows here uh, at the Restore. They cost me probably about 15 bucks, and it'll be perfect. They're, they're shed windows, so they're gonna go inside here, and that's, uh, we're gonna check to see if the framing I put in is accurately measured. Let's cross our fingers. Ha! Ah, look at that! I didn't even have to measure more than once. Good stuff. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with the other window, and we're good. I don't think the birds will ever notice that the windows aren't perfectly centered. And if they do, oh well. File it in my complaint box. Lost my tape measure again. Ah. I sharpened my pencil inside. Oh, there it is. Got the windows all framed up. Time for the doorway. Doorway's in. I'll have to duck, but Courtney should be fine. Woo! Well, Courtney has not shown up yet, and it's starting to get a little dark. Also, this area right here is supposed to have this big, ginormous window, which doesn't make any sense anymore, and I think I'm gonna go see if I can find another smaller window. That way, I can get the laying boxes up a little higher off the ground. I think it's a good time to wrap it up and um, figure it out tomorrow. Although I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Maybe I won't get it done tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. I don't know. Either way, come back folks. Check us out. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications. Comment below. We'll see you later.